How's it going bros? Uh, today I'll be showing Sightline on the Oculus Rift. Uh, this looks like an amazing demo. I'm not really sure what to call it. It's, it's pretty much a new genre. Uh, but yeah, let's jump in and check it out. Oh man, the 3D is crazy. A philosopher once asked, if a tree falls in a forest and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? If there's a table in the kitchen and you look away from it, is it still there when you're not looking? Quantum physics tells us that the universe is volatile. Particles can come into existence oh, and vanish shit. back into nothingness as long as we can't observe this happening. Oh shit. That's crazy. But if you're not looking, anything can happen here. There are laws. Laws of physics that bind reality and ensure that your observations are always consistent. When you look back, the table will still be there. But what if something damaged these laws? If the laws were no longer in place the moment you looked back, Anything could be there. This is the story of how these laws are broken. Wow. Okay, so you, uh, you bros probably know about the double slit experiment. Um, but if you don't, uh, basically the idea is uh, there were some physicists who were um, monitoring the behavior of electrons to see if they w would act like uh, particles or waves. And with an electron being a little piece of matter, it, it should have behaved like a particle. Um, but they were noticing interference patterns, which was suggesting that it was acting like a wave. Um, so the physicists basically put a measuring device down to uh, basically figure out how the electrons were interfering with themselves and just the act of observing them, they started to behave properly and started acting like particles again. Um, so basically suggesting, kind of like what the narrator was saying there, um, you know, technically if you look away from your table, the particles could not only be drifting away, but, uh, you know, exist on the other side of the planet. Um, it's the act of looking at them that causes the table to act properly and uh, have the particles all in the proper position. And I mean, as crazy as that sounds, that is the current way that quantum physics works. Um, now, we, we have laws and stuff that obviously, you know, prevent things One like moment, you might find yourself next to an unfolding the table screen. disappearing, but... The next second, you're in a vast oh, forest. Shit. That's amazing. Or perhaps the word big oh, would be more fitting here. That's crazy. There's a pyramid down there. Remember to observe the world around you closely. Look for anything that might help you proceed further. Yeah, 
Yeah, so this game, I mean, it reminds me of the double slit experiment. It, uh, you know, aside from the fact that the, uh, the laws of physics in this game are, are broken, which is what allows for this cool experience. Oh, shit. Sometimes, not looking, even for just a brief moment, might open up new possibilities. Because if you're not looking, things oh, can shit. change. New paths might open, even if they're just wibbly wobbly ones. Okay, so this is the type of experience I want to have on the Oculus Rift. Um, this is the type of experience that is not possible without this type of technology. Uh, you know, as much as it's, it's fun to get the shit scared out of you with a horror game, um, you know, I don't feel like I'm, I'm really gaining anything from that experience. Where this here... Oh, One advantage shit. of these paths is that they can be re-wibbled around as needed. This is amazing. Need that over there. Oh shit. I feel like I'm controlling this shit with my mind. Oh my god, this is amazing. that bridge to go to that portal. Oh, that's so cool. This is incredible. And you already are where you were heading. Often in the 
the face of danger, we can't help but look around in order to find its source. Oh, shit. Am I spreading that fire, or what the hell's going on? Maybe I shouldn't look at it. Nope. Oh, what? Sometimes averting your eyes. Oh, fuck. I just saw a big ass fucking asteroid. I don't know if I uh, if I'm spreading this stuff or what the hell's going on. Oh man. And when it's finally gone, you can safely go to sleep. I am loving this. In this world, everything is fleeting. Sometimes, interrupting your line of sight can make your goal disappear right in front of your nose. Door over there. Ah, fucker. Interrupting the line of sight can interfere with the goal. There's another door over there. Fuck. But if you find the right spot to observe your destination, you can gain better understanding of its volatile nature. Things don't quite look as you expected at first glance, but if you return to give them several more glances... True say, this guy's reading my mind. Half-Life 3. Yes, where the hell is Half-Life 3? It's lost in another realm. They look much better than before.
Okay. Oh shit, I'm not sure I like that. Oh fuck, the pit's But then, in the face of danger, with oh, no shit. means of escape, that moment can feel like a whole eternity. Oh, when you look up, you'll see spikes of doom hurtling at oh, you. Fuck. You look down and see a deadly pit below your wet. Oh man. I don't know what to do. Look up oh, spikes. Fuck. Look down, pit. Look up again and find that the spikes are now a fan of reasonable breeze. Then you look down and find that the pit was never really there. Oh my god. This is crazy. I almost jumped in that pit. This is such a trip. Oh my god. But then you have to return. Or do I? And you find many things that were never there. Spiky, oh, deadly fuck. things. And inconveniently placed walls constructed by an invisible architect. Oh shit! But then he changes his mind if you glance away. What? Oh! No! Wow, that was absolutely amazing. Those experiences right there, that is what virtuality is all about. Um, I'm at a loss for words. That was... Amazing. Until next time, bros. Cheers.